Morning everybody, here we are, live at the start line, transcontinental number seven. There are a lot of people in a lot of high-vis stuff, ready to rock and roll with this one. We're kind of right in front of the monument to the fallen anti-fascists. It's awesome. Can't wait to get going now. I think we're all a little bit, just a little bit nervous on an edge, ready to get going. Robbie's shitting himself, <laughs> as he does at the beginning of these things, but he'll be all right once he gets going. So uh, yeah, really excited. We've got, um, we've got like a 15K escorted section down a motorway, and then we head off onto the, uh, onto the start parkour and uh, yeah, then it all kicks off. Be interesting to see that first kind of 20k of parkour because I think people will start smashing it really hard, and only a few of them will be able to keep that going. So I'm just gonna keep it easy. Uh, it's all about the long game, uh, but maybe try and push on on the gravel because that bit's fun, right? So uh, anyway, morning Fabio, morning Graham. I hope you're ready for uh, a lot of dot watching over the next. 10 to 15 days and uh, enjoy. Right, I'm gonna go and uh, mentally get on it. Morning Kerry, how was Jebel Hafi? Yeah, so as you can see, it's just, I've never been at a race this big with this many people at the start line. It's just flashing lights and high vis everywhere. It's brilliant. Right, thank you everybody. Catch you later everyone. Here we go, roll out time. <laughs> so, no, I'm not Ben, I'm Neil. Say hi to the internet. There we go everybody. Follow Chris Wright, Cap 138. Yeah, <laughs> at least I reminded you. Crazy. See you later, everybody. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to the Transcontinental number seven. We are about half an hour in, and we've just turned off the escorted bit, and it is beautiful. Look at that. Woohoo! Morning, Philippa. Just about to put your playlist on. I want to enjoy it right at the beginning. And then I can listen to it lots of times. Everyone's shot off super fast at the front. I'm probably down in 70th at the moment. Kind of what I expected, really. I don't think many at the front can hold that pace. I'd be surprised. We shall see. It's, uh, yeah, beautiful. Really excited. Look at that. It is lovely, Philippa. It's really beautiful out here, really loving it. Probably won't be saying the same in about seven days time as I'm struggling through the Alps, but this is what it's all about. Right, I'm gonna put some tunes on and rock and roll. Goodbye, everybody, see you later. Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to live coverage of Transcontinental number seven from somewhere deep in the heart of Bulgaria. So you just always gotta pay attention here. Cars can do very strange things. Anyway, good morning everybody. We are about, uh, oh, about nearly two hours in. Just passed through the first town. What a fast and furious start. Some kind of hills and rolling terrain to break everybody up. And then straight into a gravel section which scattered everybody to the four corners of the fields. There were lots of people mending punctures. I nearly had a major mechanical smashing into a drainage ditch, but it was a lot of fun, a lot of fun. And now just kind of settling into the ride, really. It is uh, it's a beautiful morning, the sun's shining, 
it's not too hot although I fancy it's going to get super hot by the end of the day uh, yeah just really pretty let's have a look shall we there we go Bulgaria really is beautiful morning Philippa how are you uh, morning David, how are you? Have you fallen off your bike recently? Yeah, so two hours in. Switch around. Two hours in and now really it's just about settling into the rhythm. Uh, now that first testy bit's over with. Not pushing too hard. Staying on top of my food and my drink. I think today will be People who do well out today are the ones who can push along, not necessarily the ones who've blasted off the front. So we'll see how that goes. I've got enough food to see me through to checkpoint one. There's a big town just before that to restock. Have to uh, stop a couple of times for water. That should be all right, just quick, quick in and out. I don't know where Robbie is. Don't tell me where Robbie is, I'm not allowed to know. Uh, past him somewhere early on I think he's behind me so go team Neil right see you later everybody I'll check back in in a couple of hours hey James I'm in Bulgaria we're on transcontinental number seven I am about 100th the way through <laughs> how's that right see you later everyone good morning everybody welcome back to Bulgaria Stunning Bulgaria. What a first five hours it's been. Countryside is beautiful. The cycling has been beautiful. The gravel has been beautiful. It's just all been a fantastic start. Um, it's all kind of settled down now a little bit. I'm probably, I don't know, somewhere around 50th, 60th. Just settling into the day, really. Had my first water stop and coke stop keep me going I've had my first sandwich so uh, yeah feeling pretty good just had a bit of a about 15 minute climb and my legs felt strong which is good because they were hurting a little bit earlier I thought I'd gone a bit too hard on the first gravel bit but it's worth it past so many people with punctures and just suffering with narrow tires on everyone with fat tires is like thank goodness I was thank goodness I was wearing those anyway Good morning, Sarah. Good morning, Kerry. How are you both? You have to come riding here. It's beautiful. Really beautiful. Hello, Laura. You caught me. It's amazing. Yeah, so really, just really beautiful riding. I've absolutely loved it. Not too difficult. And uh, just gradually making my way to the end of the first parkour. Well, the start parkour, I've got about, I think I've got about 30k to go to the end of that. And then we're back on the, back on the main road for a bit. And then uh, off onto the first parkour. So, all be good. Yeah, Sarah, definitely. Bulgaria would make a great group adventure. You can fly direct to Burgas from Dubai. Beautiful seaside town. Nice beach. Cheap beer. All good. Right. I shall uh, love you all and leave you. As you can see, I have people hot on my heels. <laughs> and uh, yeah, hoping to make, hoping to make uh, checkpoint one about four or five o'clock this afternoon, uh, depending on if I stop much beforehand for food. And uh, I think the first parkour is pretty tough. And I'll make a decision on what to do tonight, depending on how I feel. Uh, got plenty of caffeine gum to keep me going though. Right, see you later everybody. Cat195 out. Good, uh, good afternoon everybody. Uh, welcome to, welcome back to Bulgaria. For those who are new to, uh, to my live broadcast, I'm currently kind of a bit way, six, seven hours into day one of transcontinental number seven. A 4,000 kilometer self-supported race from Burgas in Bulgaria to Brest in France and uh, 
yeah as I said seven hours in just come off the first parkour I've done about let's see 170k so far in uh, six hours 40 so yeah making pretty good pace the uh, the day one strategy is starting to uh, to pay off I've got sandwiches in my back pocket we've just come through a big town and everyone's stopping for lunch ordering kind of fried chicken and chips and I'm gonna have my ham sandwich so keeps me on the move keeps me rolling stop for a quick coke and an ice cream and now now kind of a nice long flat section uh, to the start of the CP1 parkour which is gonna be very very hilly uh, but it is uh, it's been a just beautiful six hours of riding uh, the parkour the start parkour was stunning uh, if this is what Bulgaria has to offer then I will definitely be back here to do some riding again um, little country tracks winding through the hills beautiful climb wicked descent at the end there some excellent little gravel tracks just to spice things up uh, cars being generally quite friendly they get quite close but never in an aggressive way so yeah all in all it's uh, fantastic fantastic morning in Bulgaria um, feeling strong eating well drinking lots of water it's hot it's probably about now we've just come down off the mountain it's about I don't know 32 33 so it's cold for me <laughs> so yeah drinking lots of water so hello everybody I think I've seen Ruth I've seen Laura hey Ruth hey Laura yes drinking ice cream I think I saw Yasmin there Yasmin how are you TCR number eight maybe Chris hello yes Andrew feeling fresh feeling very good considering I've got 170k in my legs uh, the training seems to have paid off um, feeling strong on the hills which is the main thing so uh, all good right uh, and hi to Jack and all the people of the blue dot Facebook group thanks for the thanks for the share thanks for the like hope you enjoy and yes I will be doing these hopefully all the way through TCR and we'll see how close to the pointy end we can get right catch you later everybody if you have any questions stick them in the comments and I'll try and get Laura to summarize them and text them to me catch you later bye oh hi everybody it's break time um, hiding from the heat of the Sun it's brutal out there it's been a pretty hot last three hours uh, since I last spoke to you so found a shop I have Fanta double Snickers ice double Snickers ice cream which is awesome coke always coke every time and a sandwich which is gonna go in my back pocket for later so uh, the default in every town seems to be just head to the uh, just head to the garage and uh, you'll find uh, you'll find something there this one is nice because it's got a nice air-conditioned room which means I can just sit here and watch for people kind of going past um, hi Alan hi Ben hope you're enjoying dot watching um, I'm about 250k in so uh, about 5k to go to the start of the CP1 parkour uh, I've got to climb up to the first monument and then come down to the actual checkpoint so it's probably going to take me about an hour an hour an hour and a half to get to the checkpoint and then uh, crack on uh, crack on through the evening uh, as you can see my cap is leaving funny lines in my head I've got it on too tight uh, right see you all later good evening everybody <coughs> frog in my throat should we start that again Good evening everybody, welcome to Bulgaria and the transcontinental number seven. Wow, well, the TCR showed its teeth this afternoon and bit me hard. Uh, after the joy of this morning's kind of gravel and beautiful scenery and feeling fresh, uh, after that first parkour, we dropped on to about 100k in an oven. It was about 34, 35 degrees. And then we got to the start of parkour two, uh, par sorry, parkour one. 
and uh, wow, big bridge. Got to the start of Parker One, and you could just see the top way in the distance. It was like 1,100 meters of climbing to get up to this monument after you were knackered from doing like 260k already and the heat. So just plodded up and you have no idea how you're doing. It's really tough and suddenly you're around this corner and this what can only be described as an alien spaceship perched on top of a mountain appears right in front of you. It was amazing. Uh, but really tough climb and really terrible roads up there. Um, like the roads have been pretty awful this afternoon. So now I've just come down off the mountain, coming through the Balkans National Park, or the Bulgarian Balkans National Park. And it's kind of, it's really warm and it's really bright still. But obviously it's now decision time, you know, when to stop, where to stop. Uh, there's not much in the way of anything for the next 75K. So I'm kind of committed for the next three hours anyway. And there might be a hotel. Or well, there might be a park bench. We don't know. I don't know. We'll see. So, yeah, that's kind of the choice, really. But I've made a decision to push on. So, uh, let's see how we do. Hi, Laura. Hi, Kerry. Oh, not Kerry. Hi, Ruth. Hi, Philippa. Good to see you cycling. Hi, Sebastian. Thanks for joining. Go, go Team Neil. Um, <coughs> hi, Sarah. Who else is on? Hi, Carl. Whoa. It's just been amazing though. It's a uh, really amazing day. <coughs> Absolutely loving it. Um, I think I was in about 40th position at checkpoint one, which is good. It's kind of a bit of head of where I thought I would, head of where I thought I would be. And some of the top guys are just in front of us. Uh, the challenge is to do this every single day for 10 days. So, yeah, with a bit of luck, I'll get to 380k today and about 3,800 meters of climbing. So, hopefully, I'll then find a hotel and it will count as a very good day indeed. Uh, so, uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I don't know if I'll be able to do any more later when it gets dark. You won't see anything. And uh, we'll see how far I get. And uh, if not, I will see you all bright and early tomorrow. Bye.